I think that Magic the Gathering is definitely too expensive for normal people now. Um, it is not, you know, kind of reminds me of a gotcha game. When a gotcha game, it's a mobile game. Uh, it's, it's, you know, loot boxes and stuff. When it's on its dying breath, then it'll really push to increase prices and the new units will get out of control. Wizard of the Coast is really milking this uh, player base incredibly hard and I don't understand why because if Magic the Gathering is the only thing in Hasbro making money, which it is, if you look at their finances and their reporting, the only thing that is making money is Magic the Gathering. So everything else in Hasbro from toys to board games is absolutely getting dismally crushed. And when you talk about, you know, let's say you have a golden goose or a golden cow, how much can you really milk it? The game is out of control. Uh, the, you know, we're looking at four, we're looking at $200 for four packs of Commander Masters, Collector's Edition. That's $50 a pack. $50 a pack of Magic cards has a, and that's not good. That is not, that's definitely not good. I think they're really feeding on people's addictions. Um, I was actually on Whatnot and these products I think are made for Whatnot because they sell very well in Whatnot. The more expensive the product and you know from sports card and so on, the more prestigious the product, the better the product actually sells on Whatnot uh, because there's more people interested in, in this gambling. People get addicted, their credit cards get declined they have to wait until the next day and then they buy the item, you know, because they already spent that much money with you already. Uh, these are gambling products. These are not products that for players, these are not products for collectors even. They're just products for DGen gamblers trying to make their money back, which will never happen. Um, I look at Magic and I, I, I don't like their model. Collector's edition, set, draft, jumpstart, um, I like the Pokemon model better, where every single booster pack is the same. There's no premium booster pack, it's just whatever it is. So like Crown Zenith, there's no Crown Zenith set, draft, collect. They could easily make Crown Zenith collectors, right? And you might say, oh, the UPCs are that way. Uh, I don't know, that's kind of a specialty item. But the packs in the UPCs are exactly the Evolving Skies. They're exactly the same packs that you'd get outside. So I don't think it's an apples to apples comparison there, but I, I don't know. I mean, there's so many different SKUs, so many different commander decks and commander product. And I, I mean, I, I look at this and I really, I really am not happy with where Magic is heading because I think it will be too expensive for the majority of people to play or collect. And that obviously hurts the lower end. So like I said, I, like to open cheap packs and I can't be alone. Uh, so I do like opening packs of Magic, it is fun, but not at the price point we're talking about. The price point we're talking about, it's just, it, 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 you, what can you say? Like what can you say that makes it makes a sense for you to open a $400 box or a, 20, a $50 pack? For $200, you get four packs. In no realm is that really, you know, I mean, they're just milking the, the crap out of us. And eventually the player base is gonna say, nah, man, we had enough and we don't want to be milked no more. So in my opinion, Hasbro, I, I understand what's happening. Hasbro needs to make money because it's not successful. It is failing. Hasbro as a company is failing. It turns out nobody, no kids wanna play board games. It turns out no kids wanna play action figures or Marvel Legends or any of this stuff is not something that people want. Uh, or even, I mean, we have electronics. You, you see kids as young as like four with iPads. They know how to use an iPad. They don't know how to get the Coco Melon. They know how to do all this stuff. So when you're competing, so you're not competing against card games, board games, you're competing against entertainment. And when entertainment is all digital, you're in trouble. Um, if you are a physical card game, um, no matter what physical card game you are, I think eventually um, you gotta look at this situation and say, you know what, we have to push the MTG Arena. We, ha we have to do more than a physical card game. 
but at the same time, the physical card game is insanely, I mean, you are just hiking the prices like uh, there's no tomorrow. And in my opinion, this is a very, very, very stupid tactic um, because eventually people get mad and they will stop playing your game. And that time is soon. That time is soon. I, I, I promise you that time is coming where people just say, you know what, why am I paying $400 for a box of cardboard? I'm gonna leave, why am I paying $50 for a pack? What in this pack really gives me $50 of entertainment value? Uh, the answer is not meaning. Uh, $50 is a, a game. A whole video game is $50. Or you could get a pack of uh, Commander's Masters uh, Collector's Edition. Uh, you can get either a single pack of cards or you can get an entire video game. Uh, which one was gonna bring you more joy? Which one will bring you more entertainment? I think it's pretty obvious, uh, to me at least, um, that it will be the uh, video game or whatever else, maybe $50, a cheap concert ticket. You know, for me, the Houston Texans, you, you can, what are like the worst team in the league, you can get a football ticket for that price, not parking. I mean, eventually it would be over a hundred, but I'm just using examples where you can actually do something kind of fun for $50, or you can open a pack, one single pack. Uh, at, at some point, you gotta compare it to not just, you know, what else in Magic can I buy? That's a very unfair comparison. You gotta compare it to like, oh, what other things of entertainment can I do with $50 or $400 that might, um, again, maybe sometimes the entertainment like fishing and so on, there's not really a return on investment, right? But I would argue that Magic, there's not really a return on investment either. It's really just a, a, a pull and all your money goes into it and it just, it's gone. So um, these expensive sets are, I mean, they're not gonna get cheaper. Like, I mean, just, just point blank, they're not gonna get cheaper, guys. Um, these things, uh, once they realize they can charge alpha investment prices of money, they realize that, you know, hey, alpha investment is making all this money from his own promos and play mats and so what we, we own the blanking magic of the gathering. We're gonna do the same thing to our customer base. Um, and that's what they're doing. They're using the uh, investment model that, you know, hey, maybe we just, before they were care, caretakers of the game, now they're just selling, sell, they're, they're trying to sell as much as possible. It's obvious, if you own a game store, it's obvious that's what they're doing because you can look at Pokemon, you can look at Pokemon and you can say, you know what, they, Pokemon could easily make a, a another two boosters, one for collectors, one for regular, right? They could easily make even a more premium. They, Pokemon can make whatever they want. They have actual cards made from metal, right? They don't do it. The pack of Evolving Skies has the same ratio of hits as your pack of Evolving Skies, as my pack of Evolving Skies, as that dude's pack of Evolving Skies. There's no Evolving Skies Collector's Edition. There's no special premium products or secret layers of Evolving Skies where they have all the EVs together and then they sell it you know, as a reprint package, right? Um, when you hit the EV, you hit the EV. You hit the Moonbrion, you hit the Moonbrion. That's it. There's no Moonbrion, you know, gilded or, you know, complete version or any of that. There's one Moonbrion. It looks like this. There's an alternate art. I guess there's two Moonbrions technically speaking, right? But um, yeah, I mean, I, I think magic is just too out there right now, too expensive. And honestly, it's just not um, fun anymore for a store owner to really do it. Hi <laughs> guys.